All right, a pretty exciting celestial event took place in the sky last night. 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Adam Strumpko is working for you with what people thought of that super blood moon and the eclipse. That's right, Matt. Well, if you were up late last night or early this morning, you might have seen it. Tuesday night's full moon was not just any full moon. It was a super blue blood moon and eclipse. I saw it on TV and it looked pretty interesting and I saw some of the pictures. It looked very exciting. It's called a supermoon because it appears bigger and brighter, but you might not have noticed much of a difference. Really, it's not that much different from any other full moon. It's very slightly bigger, but you wouldn't notice it to look up at it. Nobody can really notice the difference, but mathematically, it's a little bit bigger, so they call it a supermoon. It was also a blue moon, and it has nothing to do with its color. A blue moon is when two full moons occur in the same month. We had our last full moon back on January 1st. There was also a lunar eclipse, but the best viewing of that was in the western United States as well as in eastern Asia and Australia. As the moon enters the Earth's shadow, it starts to appear red, a result of sunlight scattering in the Earth's atmosphere, hence the name blood moon. Now, because we had two full moons this month, there will not be a full moon during the month of February. The next full moon will occur on March 1st. Now, if you have any pictures, you can send them to us at reported at WWLP. And to see pictures of last night's moon, you can log on to WWLP.com. I'm 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Adam Stremko.